Good morning, Beach Body Champions. Super excited to be here today um, with our special guest, creator of To Be Mindset, UCLA um, nutrition lecturer with a um, registered dietitian, um, Alana Molstein. Welcome. Hi, welcome. Good um, so excited to have you today to talk to you a little bit about um, nutrition and how important that is in getting the total solution um, with Beachbody. Um, what would you say to someone who, you know, um, is just new coming on to Beachbody? They've signed up to have the workouts. They've signed up for Shakeology. They're super excited to get started, um, but they're not really sure what to do with nutrition. It's it, they're, What would you say to them to help get them started so that they can get the total solution and the um, best results possible for um, a lifestyle change? Yeah, definitely. I think it's amazing you signed up to be a coach, not only for your own health, but the fact that you are now committed to helping others do it too. And, you know, every, you know, sometimes you'll hear people say nutrition is 80% and exercise is 20. My line, as I say within the two mindset is that food is everything and exercise is extra credit. Um, because really you do the workout for 30 minutes or an hour, but then what else is happening in the other 23 hours or 23 and a half hours of the day? That all matters. And it's amazing to move your body, especially if moving your body is something that's getting you excited to drink water um, after the workout or makes you feel like you're doing something really good for your body. So then you don't wanna sabotage it with poor eating choices. But of course, a lot of people make the mistake of exercising for 30 minutes or an hour and then feeling like they deserve the cake and everything else. And that is really fast to undo uh, the workout and the results. So I even just did a side-by-side -side comparison picture on Instagram, how it could take 60 minutes to burn 400 calories, but only six minutes to eat 400 calories in French fries. So we definitely wanna make sure that we are optimizing our workouts. We're optimizing our psychology. We're like actually getting lean and strong and fit and confident like we want and not, you know, kind of undoing it or, or getting further from the goal by, you know, eating the wrong things in return. So I highly recommend, you know, getting my Tubi Mindset program if you don't have it yet, because I was that person. I was essentially that person. I was a hundred pounds heavier. I don't know if you've seen my before pictures. I should have some around the place, um, but uh, I was a hundred pounds heavier and I was making that mistake for a long time. I was always exercising. I would run on the treadmill. I would do crunches. I mean, that's, I was actually down some weight there. Um, and I was just not getting the results I really wanted. I wasn't slimming down. I was never seeing the definition of my arms. I was never really getting the benefit of exercise. It felt great to sweat. I felt stronger, but I wasn't appearing stronger. And there was a disconnect by the way I was feeling, which was someone who was exuberant and confident. And then the body I was in, which was kind of holding me back from being my most confident, um, positive and healthy self. So nutrition is that major piece of the puzzle that you're going to have to conquer if your goal is to lean down, get strong, you know, really see those physical um, benefits and, and also emotional benefits as well. Great. I know it's like you exercise and you think, wow, awesome. I can now go have this piece of bread that I couldn't have earlier because I burned all those calories, but you're right. Wow. It takes yeah. forever to burn those off. That um, thinking will, will not help. Well, definitely. Yes. Help. So exercise is amazing. Signing up for beach body programs. Amazing. Definitely. Like you're patting yourself on the back. You're clearing your mind. You're relieving stress. You're, you know, you can be improving so many facets of your body. Exercise can benefit your heart health and your blood sugar control and all of these things. Um, exercise can have benefits for mental health for sure. But again, if your goal is also to slim down, get lean, um, you know, fit into the lower size genes, you know, and all those benefits, nutrition is a huge piece of that. And without it, it's going to be really hard to get it. Great. How, um, as a lecturer at UCLA and a registered dietitian, how would you explain to somebody who's just getting started um, what they should eat to get those results? Yeah, so I definitely recommend, as a Beachbody coach, you already have a discount on everything Beachbody. I highly recommend 
getting the Chibi Mindset program. Like all Beachbody programs, so phenomenally, uh, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's literally no reason not to get the program. Uh, the to be mindset is the way I lost a hundred pounds and I've kept it off through two kids, um, through loving food, through still loving food, still loving to eat a lot of food. Uh, I had to overcome emotional eating, mindless eating, uh, busy life, stressful life, and all those things. And it's designed that every single video unlocks the next five pounds, helps you change your mindset about food and your behavior. So it's not like, oh, I can have to cut everything out. Oh, wait, but now I'm off, so I might as well go all off. And then you find yourself getting nowhere. It actually is about step-by-step -step habit and behavior changes. So you not only lose a lot of weight uh, and continue losing a lot of weight, but you actually are able to keep it off. So I highly recommend signing up for the Chippy Minds of Program if you don't already have it. There's literally no reason not to, especially if you're a coach, especially with 30 day money back guarantee, especially now that it, you know, gives you the mindset membership ongoing support. That's really going to give you the best well-rounded understanding of how to lose weight while eating a lot of food, enjoying a lot of food, traveling, stress, whatever you have going on and be able to keep it off for good. So that's a start. I'll give you a brief kind of understanding of what you want to eat um, and how you want to do it. So I have what I call my two bunnies. So you might see some pictures of uh, people who've lost 50, 60, 70 pounds doing the chubby mindset and me doing this because, uh, they, you know, they kind of look like two bunnies, but they're essentially my four core principles that I see work all the time. So lecturing at UCLA, leading weight loss seminars for 10 semesters to hundreds of people of every age, every demographic, um, you know, people who can work out, can't work out women in their 60s, men in their 20s work in the kitchen and just want to taste all day and everything in between. You know, I always see that if you really hone in on these four principles, you can lose a lot of weight. So what they are is water first. Always want to be drinking water first. Uh, that means right when you wake up, you want to be drinking water first. That's one of the easiest times to drink water because your body is actually dehydrating, wanting it. So it goes down really nice and smooth. Uh, so you always want to drink water first first thing in the morning, before your coffee, before your Shakeology, um, and also within your Shakeology, maybe, however you have it. But, and then also when you finish your workout, what do you want? Water first. Of course, you can add recover to that and shake it up, but you want to make sure you're having water first. Anytime you finish a workout, you skip that water right afterwards. It's like that um, feeling of like, I'm starving happens. And that's when a lot of issues take place because water helps really calm down that feeling of extreme hunger. Um, a cool concept of it, just to help you think about it, is that all day our digestive tract is working. So our digestive tract, it's not just our stomach, right? It's from our mouth all the way to our bum. It's this windy, unbelievably cool roller coaster of a process, small intestine, large intestine, and it's always working. The muscles are always moving and they kind of defy gravity. So if you eat something like steak and carrots, it doesn't just go a slide, you know, out into the body. It's, it has to, you know, really maneuver its way. So we have all these muscles along our digestive tract that are constantly pulsating. Uh, and it's called, these muscle movements are called peristalsis and it, it's, it's all very active and exciting. When there's nothing in your stomach and you're feeling empty, you, we hear those sounds and vibrations and it kind of uh, results in growling. Like, wow, I, I hear that I have nothing in my stomach. I have to put something in our stomach. And we usually respond to that growling feeling that, you know, comes from hormones like ghrelin that stimulates that hunger hormone. We usually think, wow, I'm hungry. I have no food in my system. So I need to eat the next thing I see, which might be, you know, anything in sight. Right. But when we fill that stomach up with water first, and we drink 16 ounces of water first, half a tubey mindset water bottle, when we drink that water first, it helps to fill up our stomach, our digestive tract. It helps to absorb some of that sound. Immediately you feel a little just calmer, more sensible, and studies have even proven you will likely make smarter eating habits and choices afterwards. So always, always, always start with water first. I am a volume eater. I love to eat a lot of food. You know, even losing a hundred pounds, I still eat tons and tons of food. I just have been smarter about what I'm eating. And rather than going 
you know, all in on a jar of peanut butter or chocolate brittle or big, you know, bowls of pasta. I just now start with a lot of water first. It helps calm down. So even though I'm choosing good, better foods, I'm still probably not eating as much, but you don't have to think about it. So if you're someone who can eat a lot of food and in the past, you've not just had one slice of pizza, but have been able to take down two or three or have, you know, what feels like a lot, you always want to make sure you're having that water first before you eat. Um, and within the two B mindset, I kind of break down how much water, how much water to throughout the day and all that stuff, because you will very easily and quickly see that more water, more weight loss, which is something uh, I say all the time, because you'll probably see for yourself that it, it is, it does work. Um, another one is veggies most. So water first and then veggies most. You might be thinking, gross, I don't want to eat veggies. I'm not going to do it. I'll do the water. I'm not doing the veggies. Ick, I'm picky. Okay. Got to wrap your head around that. You have to change your mindset when it comes to veggies. Veggies are not just something you eat, you know, as a chore when you're on a diet. Veggies have to be a mainstay and a part of your life and well-being. If you're not interested in veggies now, if it's not something that thrills or excites you now, it's because you haven't been eating yummy, delicious ones. And I don't believe in eating bad tasting food. I still love Thousand Island dressing. I just throw it on cabbage steaks. I'm not obsessed with, you know, raw Brussels sprouts, but when you saute it up with some bacon and it's like these shaved Brussels sprouts and then you top it with like two poached eggs, it tastes like a hash. Uh, so the 2B mindset is packed with veggie filled dishes that don't feel veggie filled. They feel like you're eating, you know, noodles and meatballs, but they're zoodles, zucchini noodles and meatballs. So this is not about eating icky food. This is about still enjoying the flavors you love, still having, you know, fried rice, but would you ever know that that's actually cauliflower rice? And it still has the soy sauce. It still has the sesame oil. It still has, you know, like a yummy fried egg in it. And this is delicious and satisfying to be mindset recipe that I have a video and show you how to make. And I eat literally at least a few times a month. It's so good, but it actually has cauliflower rice as the base. And it's really hard to tell because it's flavored so nicely. And you could actually eat 10 cups of cauliflower rice for the same calories as one cup of rice. And we know that when our stomach is like this big or whatever it is, sometimes when we're really hungry, we feel like it's bigger you know, this doesn't usually cut it, especially when this doesn't have great nutrition in it. But the cauliflower with all the fiber, it has water, it really keeps you full. It's tasty, it's satisfying, it's delicious. The more you make your meals filled with veggies and snacks filled with veggies, usually you will see the more weight you can lose. So you have to change your mindset when it comes to veggies. If you feel like you don't like any veggies, you just haven't started liking veggies yet. There's some sort of melted cheese over broccoli situation that will get you eating a lot of broccoli and you want to start getting on that bandwagon as soon as possible. So water first and then veggies most, at least veggies some to start when you do the tubing minds and you actually want to see those pounds drop off of you and really melt off. You'll find more and more ways to enjoy veggies because I have so many for you, especially with the mindset membership now out every single week I add two new recipes and we have cabbage steak, turkey and cheesy sandwiches, literally heaven. You would be like, am I at just a better version at Subway? No, it's like this delicious sub, it's cheesy, it's melty, it's heaven, but the sandwich layers are cabbage steaks. And so you can eat this big meal and still shed pounds. So that's water first and veggies most. The next is the scale. I'm a big believer in the scale. You probably hate the scale. If you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, he just did a whole episode on how much people hate the scale, um, which I thought was very amusing. We all hate the scale when we don't go on it. We all hate the scale when it's not working. We all hate the scale when it's going up. Um, or we feel like we're eating generally well because we are choosing a salad here and there, but we're not getting the results we want. I totally get it. I, you know, when the scale goes up for me because I'm bloated or hormonal or I ate a lot the night before or I ate a salty meal the night before or I just overate um, and had too many treats and sweets, 
I don't like it either. But at the end of the day, it's objective data that's going to help you figure out what is working for you and what isn't. And no one can tell you how you're going to lose weight. You might have this recollection of a time when you were younger in your teens or your 20s after college, um, after you had your first kid, whatever it is, you might have a recollection of being able to lose a lot of weight, but you keep applying that same method and it's not getting you those same results. And that's because we're also different. Every day in our body is different. Every year in our body is different. If you're trying a new workout, you're going to have differences. Sometimes you're gaining muscle. Sometimes you're shedding pounds. It, it, we're all ongoing experiments and no one can tell you precisely how you're going to lose weight, but the scale is going to help you actually see what's helping it go down. So you will want to stay more consistent with it and what is making it go up. So you could be like, you know what, those fries weren't even worth it. They were pretty stale by the time they, you know, came to the table or that leftover pizza, that last slice, I really didn't need if I didn't have that, just that last slice. And I traded it out for the baby carrots and ranch dressing that were on the table. You know, maybe I would have stayed the same today rather than it go up. So the scale becomes a really amazing objective tool, a helpful friend and companion to help you lose weight. Um, because if you need to lose weight, I will tell you, at this weight and even larger, because this was down about 20 pounds, people, you know, personal trainers, whoever it was were telling me, you know, don't look at the scale, they go by how you feel. When you're very overweight, it's really hard to be very in touch with your body and know how you feel. Sure, you feel great, but you're gaining five pounds a month. Like, and you don't even realize. You, you feel like you're feeling great, but then your button isn't closing the next time you want to go somewhere or you catch a picture of yourself and you're like, do I really look like that from the side? So the scale is that friend that really shows you what's working, what isn't. And you will find if you right now don't like the scale, don't have a good relationship with it, you will find with the 2B mindset, you will be able to evolve into a wonderful relationship with the scale where it's that thing that helps you crush emotional eating because you're having this hard, stressful week or month and you think that the ice cream and chocolate's helping and then the scale's like, you still have all these issues and now you're just creating more issues because you're getting weight and you're like, you know what, thank you. And then you'll check in with the mindset membership community. They'll share your stress and everyone will be able to help you mitigate it. I'll be able to answer your questions relating to it in a live Q and A. We have monthly topic videos where I'll address, you know, just emotional eating or late night eating and, and how to fit this healthy lifestyle into your busy life or when you're on a budget and we'll help you overcome that without, you know, just creating more issues for yourself moving forward. So that's the scale. And the last is tracking. And there are so many messages that are positive relating to tracking now. Thankfully, that's kind of caught up with me. When I used to tell people to track, it was like a no-no um, and write down their food. But now so many beach body programs come with a journal accompaniment. You know, there are so many apps now that show you the benefits of journaling. Even successful business people will tell you, you know, for coaching your business, that it's a great idea to track and to journal. And that's just a fact. We have so many distractions in our everyday life. We don't even realize that we're faced with over 200 eating decisions a day. It is so easy to just swipe a couple pretzels from your kid's lunch bag or some sucking candies when you're out in line and frustrated at the bank. Or if you ever go through Costco, there's you could literally eat three meals just tasting the samples. There's so much mindless eating. There's so many distractions. And tracking and writing down your food, your habits, your behaviors helps you stay grounded, helps you stay in control, and also will help you figure out how you're losing weight best. So you don't have to cut all your favorite foods out. You don't have to avoid your family and friends when you eat out. You can actually just, if you bite it, write it, you write down what you did have and you realize, you know what? I could go to a Chinese restaurant with my family. I can get beef and broccoli and a side order of steamed broccoli. I could pour the beef and broccoli over the steamed broccoli, you know, kind of add more veggies to it with adding all that sauce. I don't need the rice. Um, this is working really well. Maybe I'll treat myself to one egg roll. I'll split half of the broccoli and beef for my lunch tomorrow. And you know what? I could write it down the next day. I stay the same weight. Or you know what? I even lost a half a pound going to a Chinese restaurant and treating myself to an egg roll without anyone ever telling you, you can't eat egg rolls. So I am not about deprivation. I've been eating and enjoying lots of chocolate and treats and satisfying things along my weight loss, but it's really about tracking and using the scale to see, you know, what 
what you can tolerate, what you can handle. And no, it's never probably going to be three boxes of chocolates the week of Valentine's Day, but one chocolate dessert that's really worth it, there's probably a lot of room for. So uh, journaling is key. So those are my two bennies. What are first veggies most the scale and the tracker and the to be mindset tracker is the tracker of choice because I designed it after working with so many people and really understanding their habits and behaviors and what would work best. For them. So that those are my two bennies. And um, I could break it down further if you'd like. Thanks so much, Alana. I, that's all really great information. And I love that you said that really is a mindset shift. And I can tell you that the, the, recipes that you have for all the different types of vegetables, vegetables that I'd never even heard of before, never tasted, that I, you've created a way for me to love those vegetables or vegetables that I hated. And, and now I can incorporate them. Um, and that's all really great. And I love the water, but what happens when life gets really hard and you're stressed out at work or you're stressed with your kids, your family member gets sick and you just don't want to eat the foods. You don't want to drink the water. You just don't want to. Um, what what can you um, say to somebody who is struggling in that? What can, what can they do? Yeah, it happens. It definitely happens. And sometimes it happens from something really innocent. Sometimes you are on the right path of meal prepping and you're following some sort of meal plan and you have your veggies and your protein and your brown rice and everything is planned. And then you just like forget to bring your meal one day. Um, and and then, you know, just one innocent, you know, night of nachos. It's like, oh, you know what? Like I could treat myself to nachos um, or Doritos or, you know, something that just gets you. And then it's like, oh, it's just one night. And then you kind of don't want to track the next day and you don't definitely don't want to go on the scale the next day because it can be a little freaky. And then, you know, the next day you think it was all done and you were going to start over, but you know, those cravings come back and then you have it again. And then it kind of gets to the point where you're on such a track of, now indulging in these foods that you were totally not having the week before. And now it gets to the point where like, you don't have an, a pal you don't have a palate, you don't have an interest in eating veggies. Like the idea of eating the salads that you ate three weeks ago now have no appeal to you and you just have a harder time getting on it. Thankfully, um, I know that that exists. I'm not ignorant to it. I see it with my private clients who I meet with here in my office um, all the time. I've seen it in the past with myself. And that's why I was so insistent uh, that we create the mindset membership, the ongoing support. Because, you know, there are people who've done the 2B mindset, they've lost 60, 70 pounds, but then you know, a parent may pass away or get sick or, you know, they just, they move or they get a desk job and the other job, you know, had a smaller commute. Now they have a longer commute. Now they have budget constraints and all these things. And thankfully with the 2B mindset, because it is designed to be simple, sensible, and sustainable, people thankfully um, keep their weight off or, um, you know, maintain it for a long time. And the testimonials of people saying, even though life got stressful, I was able to maintain it are fantastic. But what if that person still has more weight to lose? They have to be able to get themselves out of that. And that's why the mindset membership is so useful and successful because the 2B Mindset program will definitely help you drop pounds right away. Like people literally in the first week see unbelievable weight loss results in the first month can lose, you know, five to 15 pounds we've seen um, and then keep losing that weight ongoing. But you need that community of support because life will always get tough. Life will always get stressful. You can always fall into a slump or a funk with, you know, just getting bored of the same recipes, like even the delicious, you know, cauliflower fried rice. If that's your only thing, you're going to lose it. And now you have a whole freezer full of cauliflower rice. What are you going to do? Well, that's why you're going to love the mindset membership and the ongoing recipes, because sometimes it's literally just a delicious new recipe, like my unbelievable, like Greek style cauliflower rice, with like melted feta on top. So good. Uh, that really gets you back and excited for weight loss. But my cauliflower rice risotto, uh, you know, you have to kind of get back in it. And there are times where you're going to have a sweet tooth. So, you know, it's Valentine's day this week. And now we're seeing like all these temptations and everyone's showing these pink sprinkled cookies and this and that. Well, you know what, in the mindset membership community, we're showing you like, how delicious it is to make these no bake chocolate bonbons with five grams of protein in each one. So it's designed to help you have chocolate, but then get full and stop afterwards rather than, you know, those chocolate confectioner candies that 
actually activate and trigger hunger and make it so you can't stop and then get you feeling like you fell off. And then you convince yourself you're an all or nothing person and this will never work. And then you, you know, take what could be a one or two pound gain or, or deviation and you turn it back into gaining all your weight back. If you can relate to any of this, the yo-yoing, the losing weight, just to gain it back, you must sign up for the mindset membership. It's not even a question. I mean, if you don't have the to be mindset program yet, absolutely get it. Um, especially with a coach discount, there's literally no reason not to, especially with 30 day money back guarantee. There's really no reason not to, especially seeing thousands of other coaches who have not just lost a lot of weight, but have had unbelievable success selling and sharing this program with other people. You, you really must do this for yourself so you can finally lose this weight and be done for good because who has time for doing this so many more times, right? We want to be able to live our best lives and not have our weight continue to be a struggle. And the best part is when you sign up for the to be mindset. Now you automatically enroll in this unbelievable mindset membership that is going to make sure that you stay on track, that you stop telling yourself that it's all or nothing and then find yourself getting nowhere. It's going to make it so that you find your way that you can still not meal prep or forget to bring your lunch home and you might still need to go to a drive through but what are decisions you can make at the drive through that would be smarter? Um, and the, one of the coolest parts of the mindset membership is every single month I meet with a mindset member who I, you know, I treat like a one-on-one -on -one client. And this past month, that was what happened. You know, I was talking to a woman who has lost weight with the 2B mindset program and is doing really great, but she stress eats and she came into a stressful point and she was talking about how she went to McDonald's and she got a McFlurry and a burger and fries. And I walked her through, you know, not taking the stress out of her life, not taking out of her life. The fact that she forgot her lunch, I can't implant it in her car in the morning, but what she can do when the wheels fall off and you have to make these shifts last minute because you can do it especially when you have a whole community doing it with you supporting you in the process so these one-on-one -on -one sessions are huge and super exciting the recipes are unbelievable literally like crispy chicken tenders i ate last night delicious um really 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 good like if you like chicken tenders if you like tots if you like fries i mean you are going to be able to eat bowls and bowls of the fries that we made um, that are launching in the mindset membership in March, you're going to be able to make those eat bowls and bowls of them, like triple that recipe and still probably see a scale go down in the morning. It's the best. It's just the best way to be feeling full, feeling satisfying, feeling at ease. And if you're on a budget, the whole March topic video is all about saving money with the program. And I brought on these two unbelievable women who've not only lost a ton of weight with the program and have kept it off with so many kids. One is five kids, one is three kids. I not only shared my best saving money techniques for, you know, how to buy veggies on sale or whip up meals that are, you know, cheaper or how to go to a restaurant and save money while losing weight and eating well, but they shared their tips from just being you know, living in different areas, having different kids, having, you know, their stressors in life, they share that. And that's what I do in the monthly topic video. I bring on people who are doing the 2B Mindset who are facing the same issues that you are probably facing too. And they're sharing their best tips and advice. So it's not just me. Again, it's a whole community making sure that you're on track, you're on your goals and you're staying positive along the way. Wow. Thank you so much, Alana. That was just a wealth of information coaches. And I, I really love that you talk about how, you know, that you can work on this mindset, even when you're having setbacks, you provide a way for you to navigate the stress in your life, the hard times that you're having, and still come up with great food choices, even if it means eating out at a fast food restaurant. Um, read a great, great quality program that you um, are going to provide this ongoing support system for you, our coaches, um, and your clients and customers. Thank you so much, Alana, for taking the time to come talk to us about nutrition to um, help our coaches get started on the right foot so that they can have um, the total solution, the total package for getting the absolute best results um, on their journey in life to lead a, a more healthy and fulfilling life. We appreciate you. you so much. For I can't wait to see you all in the mindset membership community. So definitely um, if you sign up for the tube of mindset, if you don't have it today, if you sign up today and you get automatically enrolled in the mindset membership, make sure that this week in our group, you write 
I was on, you know, the champions page call. I just signed up. I'm super excited because I would love to really connect with you if, if you are ready to make this change because it, it's a positive one. It's not extreme. It's a way, it's a change that will have lasting, unbelievable, uh, immediate and lasting impact, but it's not scary. It's actually completely and totally, be, totally manageable, fun, sustainable, engaging, and it, it's wonderful. So give that to yourself, just give it to yourself and sign up today. Yes. And we'll see you guys all in that group. I'm super excited to try all the new recipes and we'll see you all in there. And thanks again, Alana. You guys have a great day. Bye.